Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Hiking the Wainwrights with me and also this one. Hello! <laughs> hello YouTubers, how are you? <laughs> so today is walk four in the Eastern Fells and where are we going? It's, uh, Sheffield Pike. Correct. <laughs> I, I had to think of it. <laughs> yes. And where else are we going? I don't know, where are we going? Um, let's go and have a look at the route, shall we? So we've parked at Glencoyne Bridge and then we're going to walk up Glencoyne Valley up to a place called Nick Head where we're going to go in a northwest direction over Glencoyne Head and up onto Hartside and tick that one off. And then we're going to double back and then we're going to go up Sheffield Pike to the summit and then down to a place called Heron Pike where there are some of the most outstanding views in the Lake District. Then we're going to walk down to the rake, and from here we're going to head on to Glenridding Dodd. Walk all the way to the end and overlook Ulls Water. Beautiful views. Then back down to the rake, and then along Mossdale Beck to the main road, where we'll pick up the Ulls Waterway back into the van. Right, so that's the uh, that's the route we're doing today. What? You didn't tell me that. What? <laughs> Oops. I kind of told you that we're going to go and do Sheffield Pike and Glenrid and Dodd, but I was meant to go and do Hartside on the previous video up on when I did Clough Head and the Dodds, but it was just one hill too far. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I was absolutely it was soft. It, it was really hot. So I've sort of tacked it onto this one and kind of forgot to tell you. Wow. It's going to be a wet one today, I think. Yeah, um, great. It's already great. start. <laughs> I know. Can you believe it? Sheffield Pike just there. Hopefully you can see it. I don't want to get the lens wet. And that huge mass in the background with the cloud, that's outside. It looks gorgeous up here. Loads of trees and, and, and mist and... And rain. Lots of rain. <laughs> but it looks nice and it smells nice as well, doesn't it? Yeah, Some it really does. beautiful smells around them all. That typical summer vegetation type smell. So we're going to get through this farm here, which looks really nice actually. And uh, we'll see a bit further up. Hello. Oh, you're a good dog. Okay, because we were too busy yip yapping, we actually went the wrong way. We we're supposed to go on the left hand side of the farm. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Here we go. Not right. Footpath. I'll tell you what, I'll uh, let my assistant sure. open the gate. Um, you have to close it again. <laughs> Here we go. Up the step. You're doing a grand job. Look at that view. Yeah. Oh, look at them. Look, there's a little herdy lamb coming as well. A little black one. Oh. <laughs> hey, herdy. Already, just a few metres away from that farm, I had to take my coat off because I was sweating. Dean's still got hers on. I think that won't last for very long. It's one of those days, it's quite close. It's not red hot, but it's not cool either. But obviously with, with it raining, you've got to put your coat on. It's a beautiful environment. It really is gorgeous. I mean, look at that up ahead. That's um, Sheffield Pike. And you can see Heron Pike there as well. I love these trees. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I really wish someone would invent smell of vision you're kind of missing one of the senses here obviously you can see stuff and you can hear us wittering on or me but you can't smell all this stuff all the bracken and the soil you can smell the earth and the trees and the sheep poo as well it's really strong today isn't it the smell and if you're familiar with the lake district you know exactly what i'm talking about the poo smell is really strong. no not the poo smell <laughs> the grass and the bracken the grass. yes i don't know if you can see it on this camera but i think um, that's the path going. I've not done this route before, by the way. I'm kind of winging it again. Last time I went up Sheffield Pike, I went up through those woods there, and it was a fantastic walk up. But that's not where we're going today. We're going slightly different, right up Glencoyne Valley. Like I said, up to, to Nickhead. Nickhead. <laughs> it just sounds like head. Dina has this thing that I. That she, she says I talk a lot. I don't get it. I don't believe it. Waffle, waffle, waffle. How do you say? I'm not English. <laughs> not speaking English. Not speaking English. Waffle? Waffle. <laughs> oh, 
very serious video here. It's going to be a long day. <gasps> okay, I'm getting hot now. Yeah, I, I knew it. I knew it. I, did, I told you. Crag knows best. Hey, Hurdy. Turn left. Up the fell towards the wall. There's Sheffield Pike. Oh, this is a bit of a pull up here, isn't it? But already we're getting some great views looking down Ulls Water. Really, really beautiful. And there's Gow Barrow there as well. There's little patches of sunlight going out towards Pooley Bridge and maybe Howe Town as well. We could get lucky, you know, we could get some sunshine today. Mm. I just realised, have I got loads of Vaseline on my lips? It's, it's good. <sighs> <sighs> it's so hot. It's really close. We need some wind, don't There's we? There's no wind whatsoever. Not a breath of wind. I mean, you can see the bracken's not moving at all. I'm hoping once we get to the top of Glen Coyne, on up round Nick Head, and going up to Green uh, side, whew, <laughs> that we start to get some airflow, you know. Right, let's get up to this wall and then uh, see what happens there. So we're just approaching the wall now and at some point along here we cross it and then head up on the other side of the wall. So where Dina is there, the wall does like a bit of a dog leg and then I think, is it a gate or a style? Style goes over the wall and a gate goes through it. What's the difference? Let's have a look. No speaking English. It's a gate. Here we go. Brand new information. Really? I mean, how many styles have you gone over? Ah, there's actually another path on this side of the wall and a gate there as well, so we could have come up that side. But now what we're gonna do is gonna handrail this wall all the way up to we hit another wall. So I was just telling Dina there that all around these hills back in the 17th century, whatever, it was just covered in trees you know, woodland everywhere. And one guy commented when he came here to hunt, there were more deer than trees. I mean, it's packed, ram packed full of deer and trees. We just had a little bit of a discussion there about could we shoot a deer? And I think neither of us could bring ourselves to, no. to killing, uh, killing any animal really. Surely the, the, the draw of, of hunting is the, the thrill of the hunt. It's the skill you needed to track the animal down. But you could do that with a camera. You could do all that same stuff, couldn't you, yeah. with a camera? Yeah. The only difference is you're doing, instead of pulling your trigger, you're pulling your, you're pressing your, your shutter down. Shutter, yeah. And you get a click instead of a bang. And you don't get any venison sandwiches. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it is tasty. Up and through that little gate, yeah. Right, so we've just got up to another wall there, gone through the gate, as you saw, and uh, we're pretty much going out onto the open fell side now. So we've got a bit of a steep pull up ahead as it takes us round the corner to Nick Head, where at that point we could sack, we could sack Hart side off and turn left and go up to Sheffield Pike, or we stick to the mission and we get up Hart side, which is what we're gonna do. Okay, it's actually not as steep as I thought. It's a fairly steady path cutting across the contours. I was just looking at the contours and forgot actually the path does cut across at a fairly shallow angle. So it's not so bad. Yeah, I think I need to practice map reading a little bit more. <laughs> Everybody happy? Yay! So we've got happy we faces. Just had a bit, a bit of food, so. Yes, we just had a little bit of scranage. Oh, this is a beautiful path. Check yeah. this out. I do love paths like this. Let's step up and wind around the hillside. So we're very, very close now to um, Nick Head. And then we're going to branch off and go up into the cloud. So it could be interesting. And all's waters starting to slip out of view now, which is a shame, but we'll get a fantastic view of the whole lake uh, later on from Heron Pike and also Glenrid in Dodd, so. Quite a steep little bit of path here. Definitely need to be careful. 
if you're wearing waterproofs as well, you'd just slide. You'd never stop. You'd keep going probably to the centre of the earth. It's not immediately obvious actually where the path is, but you can just sort of make out a little bit of a trod going up here. I think it is going to be a bit quite soggy. And then up onto green side there, I can see a path. Yeah, we've got we've got a bit of a mid situation going on now. And I guess it's because um, it's warm, it's very wet, and there's not a breath of wind. So I think we need to get going before we get chomped. As you can see, we've been uploaded to the cloud. Here we are, in the middle of nowhere. Where's your water? Oh, you've got all sorts in here. Oh no! <laughs> wow. Wait, bananas? Mm. <laughs> oh. Whew, so our Sheffield Pike's completely gone. Um, you can just make out a little bit of Hull's water down there. So yeah, quite a steep pull up this last section here. But in a minute it levels off and then what we'll do is we'll contour around to heart side so it won't be that difficult and we'll be coming back down this path we need to be really careful that we don't slip because the grass is pretty slippy and it's, it's gonna be a bit an muddy interesting... it is gonna be interesting i might put my yeah. camera away at that moment so let's keep going and get to heart side there we go it's leveling off Approaching the top of green side now, and we need to head off in that direction in a minute. Okay, it's all leveled off now, and we're pretty much just walking into oblivion. <laughs> but there are a few little trods here and there, and I know that we're heading in roughly the right direction. So we're not a million miles away from Heart side now it sort of levels off into this saddle between green side and heart side over there. I keep doing that with this flipping strap. Probably a few hundred meters away from heart side now. Where's she gone? Where's she gone? What the hell? It's not underneath me. What the oh, I'm gonna have to go and find her. Or I could just go on. Ah, I've got my Snickers, so I'll just keep going. You, know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Yo! some kind of weird temporal slip but uh yeah i was really worried about you though yeah yeah all right here we are on the summit of Hartside, marked by this little pile of stones here check out those views i mean mind-blowing what a shame because i know the views from here will be outstanding because we saw it Looking back from Stye Barrow Dodd, this is actually part of Stye Barrow Dodd, Greenside and Hartside. Give it a little touch. So I don't think we're going to linger. Wind's got up a little bit, hasn't it? Um, which is nice, kind of cools down a bit, but if we stay too long to enjoy these views, it'll get really cool, yeah. So I think what we'll do is, we've ticked it off, we've done it now. So we're walking back into the wind now a little bit, and it'll be interesting to navigate from this point. I think it'd be slightly harder to navigate I know we can walk down this path quite a lot of the way, but at some point we do need to branch off. Right, I'm waffling. Way too much. Way too much waffling. Oh my God. <laughs> she hates it. She absolutely <laughs> hates the waffle. Right, let's get on to uh, Nickhead. It's really funny when you're walking and miss. One minute you're shrouded by it and you can't see a flipping thing. Next minute, I mean literally seconds, everything just opens up and you can see the whole route ahead again. Flippin' heck, it's looking really nice. Really, really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Little glimpse of Sheffield Pike up ahead. See, this is where you can go wrong, you see. If you're not, if you're not careful, you could just slip and fall down there. You be careful. The grass is really slippery because it's, it's very wet. It's 
gorgeous, isn't it? Somebody's happy. Oh, it's just all whipping across, look. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Right, care needs to be taken here, like I said, because this is a proper slip spill. Just getting back down to Nick Head now. Sort of feels like we've just not really done much, doesn't it? <laughs> We're sort of all back here again. But uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad that's out of the way now because we can get on and enjoy Sheffield Pike now, even though that's all collected as well. But looking really good and atmospheric, isn't it? Yeah. Might be able to get some shots. Might be able to get some shots. We'll see. Here we are. Next step is get up here. Shouldn't take too long at all to get to the top. If you remember my last Sheffield Pike uh, video, it's sort of a plateau, goes along to Heron Pike. Get a nice view and then down. I thought I'd do a different route this time. Obviously I've done Sheffield Pike before, not that long ago. It doesn't feel like that long anyway, but um, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a different route. Probably for all the walks that I've done previous videos, because then at least you've got different options. You don't need to move, guys. Oh, you could have stayed there. Summit's just here. I mean, it's not far at all. We won't enjoy the views because it's just clagged in again. But we'll get to the top and then we'll head on to Heron Pike. I just love the colour of all this. Really beautiful. Okay, summit is just up ahead and I don't know if you can see that swale dale presiding over us. Everybody happy? Huh? Everybody happy? <laughs> Look at that. What a great welcome party. Yeah, Dean was just saying maybe that isn't a welcome. Maybe it is more of a time to go, guys. Get off my land. Huh? Is that someone on the summit there, do you think? Yes, I'm going to see Someone it. sat there. Can't work out if there's a figure sat up there or, or what, or if it's a rock. that one off. Oh, lovely. That was Sheffield Pike and it was a human at the top, not some kind of strange outcrop of rock. It's an all right summit. On a clear day you can't see a great deal anyway. Like I said, go and check out that other Sheffield Pike vlog that I did. Um, so I didn't miss on anything? Not really, no. I mean, I, I got the drone up that day and obviously you could see more with the drone, but from here, because it's quite broad and obviously long, you can't see all's water. You can see out towards Helvel in that kind of way, but it's not brilliant. I mean, the best view is Heron Pike and that path down to Glen Ridding Dodd and obviously Glen Ridding Dodd as well. So we might as well bomb it across to those areas. Okay. And um, We can't see much here, so... Well, no, it's all clagged in. I mean, it does look nice. I mean, it's looking yeah. very atmospheric out that way. Heron Pike, next stop. And hopefully keep everything crossed. Fingers, toes, oh. eyes, everything that... It's clear at Heron Pike, so we can see that really beautiful view down onto uh, Ull's Water. So we're getting the view of Ull's Water back, which is nice. Look at these two. Just dropping out the cloud now and at this point is where we could see uh, our first sight of Heron Pike there. Okay, let's get ready for a pretty good view. Thank you. 
that is a pretty special view, you've got to admit. And you know, it's only about 40 seconds walk from the main path that takes you back down to Glenridden Dodd. So definitely worth popping across there. Right, you actually get to a little bit of a decision point here. You either carry on down this way, which is beautiful, you know, and um, some nice trees down that way, and it ends up in the same place anyway, by the, the wall. Or you can go this way here, and this is the way that I'm gonna go today. But yeah, you can imagine what this must look like in about two, two to three weeks. It's gonna be incredible here. Don't lead the way, we're gonna go this way here. I know it's it's quite deceptive you think oh it's not a path here but then it suddenly appears I love this section of the the walk that wall yeah it's gorgeous isn't it but this tree I think has got so much potential for a photograph, you know, not to be a tree because it's doing that pretty well. But that view is something else, isn't it? With the wall, the tree, the lake, the prison. Gorgeous, love it. Really, really beautiful view. Right, so we're at the bit between, I guess it's a call, between um, Sheffield Pike and Glen Ridding Dodd. Hopefully the rain's going to hold off, we can get some shots, that kind of stuff, and enjoy a bit of time there. And we're going to come back down and we're going to go through that gate, which is the way I came up on the last vlog, and head down that way. So, all good. Cool. Let's do it, let's get up there. Up we go. On already slightly tired legs. This section of path is just outstanding. And here is the summit, literally five minutes after we set off from that gate in the wall. Another one ticked off. And this one's a special one because it is absolutely gorgeous. The views in every direction. Right, I think it's pretty obligatory when you get to Glenridden Dodd to head on over to the other side, the other end of the fell, uh, the Ulls Water end, the eastern end, because, well, first of all, it's gorgeous, but secondly, and the main reason, is because the view off the end there, looking right down onto Ulls Water and Glenridding Village itself, is beautiful and well worth the five minutes extra effort to get down there. Basically, the furthest point you can see there. No. If you're enjoying the video, by the way, please smash the like button and help the video reach more people. Uh, I'd be very much appreciated. Thank you. <laughs>
Right, we just had a little bit of a snackette there and a sit down and rest our weary legs, enjoying that amazing view. But now it's time to head back up to Glenridden Dodd and uh, to that gate. Tricky one. Right. Yes. <laughs> right down here. <laughs> right, so we just come through that gate there, as you can see, obviously, because <laughs> you're not blind. Well, the path, the one at the moment, is is eventually going to uh, run alongside uh, Mossdale Beck, and eventually bring us out. At Mossdale Bay, where we're going to kind of walk along the edge of Ull's Water, all on the road, whichever's easiest. It's big. Okay. Um, okay. There's a bit of a jungle around here. I mean, look how look how high this stuff is. Ooh. Oh, 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 yes, I remember this one. Go, 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 go. So we've got about half a kilometre to walk now until we're back at the van. to catch her or a curly or something what they call anywho we are almost back at the van uh, so it's about a 10 minute walk it's about a 10 minute walk about a 10 minute walk yeah. uh, along that permitted path beautiful path actually really nice nice and quiet uh, but like I say we're back at the van and uh, we're gonna go and get some scranage at the Queen's Head now oh, look at I the stick I can't wait I know someone I'm is so hungry. mega hungry so listen thank you very much for watching guys i really appreciate it i really hope you've got something out of this one and like i said earlier on smash the like button if you have and uh i'll see you out on the next one the next one is walk five striding edge see you then Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. To a good walk. Cheers to you. Please. Yeah, so talking. Say something. Hi. No, not to the microphone. Just, just speak. <laughs> Hi. No. Now, how do I start this again? <laughs> Some little eyes in there. And a smiley. Wilson! You were waiting for this to happen.